Welcome back! Guess who completely did not figure out a fucking thing for Ben Franklin? But it's fine. We're just gonna. I wanna look at him. It. Beautiful tulips. Uh, let's see. Gotta remember what the heck we were doing. Cabbages! I never made those cabbage cookies. But, I did experiment with some red cabbage. Which turns out very sweet when you cook it for like a billion years. I learned. Yeah, careful with that baked tomato. Uh, so I might try to make those into cookies later. But it's red cabbage, not regular cabbage. But that's fine. Uh, Mr. Franklin, can I talk to you? Talk away, little dude. Words like birds are truly free. I don't think I can maintain that. Aw, <laughs> oh, jeez. Uncle Fred really did fry his brains. Hey, my groovy brain gives me no pain. He's got a little weird little smirk. Anyway, Mr. Franklin, could you please help me save my dog? He was kidnapped by General Pug and his daughter. They've taken him away, and... Hey, little dude, mellow out. Here, take this string. I wear it to remind me to forget anything stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> 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 Oh, thank you. I really needed this laugh today. <laughs> I really need to get my dog back. Can you help me, please? As a fellow human being, I can't refuse. Here, read my doctor to personal melodies. It'll help you come to grips with your hostility, you dig? My hostility? I don't want to come to grips with my hostility. I want my dog! That was a little bit harsher than I meant. Hey, chill out. It's your dog's destiny to be with the pugs. Peace, baby. It sure the friggity frack ain't. Let's take a look at this doctrine. That's this one. Guru grooviness. Yikes. Groovy living. Okay. Oh, I see what's happening. I see what's happening. Oh, man. Don't get involved. Life isn't fair anyway. You can't change anything, man. But do, like, totally everything to the excess. Avoid baths? Avoid baths. This bitch is in a giant tub! Have a cow. Okay. That. Okay. To an extent, I almost agree with that one. Oof. Yikes. Oof. Yikes. Look at your documentation to find out. Yeah, but I want to select it. There we go. Uh, listen, Ben, I don't think this doctrine will make me do much good. Will do me much good. Why don't you take it back, okay? I'm hurt, child. Go meditate upon the doctrine, won't you? I'm sure you'll understand its value in time. I guess you're right. It might come in handy if I need to blow my nose or something. <laughs> I meant to, like, tell him what a hypocrite he is, but I guess, like, Pepper's kind of... Uh, let's take a look at the some cotton string! AND SILK STRINGS! We are fucking rolling! Actually, we should not roll in the string. I realized that as I was saying the words that rolling in string is probably not helpful for literally anything. Anyway, let's go. This guy isn't helping me. Let's go explore your workshop, which is- I actually remember being a really cool place to walk around, so I'm kind of excited. Get out of your crazy music. I think this music's more chill. Oh. Alright, just kidding. 
unfinished letters on Ben's desk, notes written to himself on wrinkled up scraps of paper. Fix the windmill. Talk to that wretched bug. Get a, get a horse! Did he write himself a note? I know he did, but I want to know if he wrote... Uh... Well, great. <laughs> I literally was just gonna start clicking the truth button and I we immediately found things. So that's neat. True! Ben Franklin invented a clock that only had one hand. It had the hours and minutes marked on its face. It had a second face for the seconds. This just proves even brilliant people have weird ideas sometimes. Yeah. I knew this one was gonna be a thing. The printing press is way too fucking a big deal. Printing press was invented in the Renaissance, and the design didn't change much for hundreds of years. It wasn't until the Industrial Revolution of the 19th century that the printing press became fully automated. Yeah, it was kind of a big deal. Insulation! Yes. Yes, thank you. That's cool. I need that. I know I need both of those things. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he even wore it in fashionable France! And they loved him! <sighs> okay. This is a thing we're doing. Yeah, but... Ugh. Okay, but... I... Number one... Does that little blob look like a post office to you? Please, inform me. What does that little blob look like to you? Because it does not look like a fucking post office to me. Um... Yeah, that would be obnoxious. I would rather just write it by hand. Many times. I physically have done that. Stop saying that. I hate that. I hate it so much. I know it's accurate. I know. Okay, well, let's steal all your shit, and then we'll start wandering around. Oh, I need that too. That's very clearly in the foreground. <laughs> she doesn't think Ben will miss it in his present condition. No. Cool, this looks like just what I needed. Yikes! The magnet stuck to my buttons! Ha! I knew I had a magnetic personality, but this is ridiculous. Oh, Pepper, never change. Yoink! Schematic! A diagram or plan for something, such as scientific experiment or electrical wiring. Yes, thank you. Maybe I show this to Benny. Get out of the hot tub and stop acting like a fruit bat. Ah, oh, yeah, fruit bat. Pepper doesn't need a bag of plaster. Are you sure? Are you sure? No? Are you sure? Are you sure? We want to break stuff. Oh. Yeah, it is gonna get drafty in the winter. Alright, let's go show him the schematics, which I'm pretty sure is not, like, gonna do what we need yet, but... We can try it anyway. Please don't get wet. She's so tiny. Mr. Franklin, look what I have! It's your schematic for your famous kite key experiment. I found it in your workroom. That's nice, child. You keep it. I'm totally beyond science now. I'm into cosmic consciousness, you dig? Go meditate in the cabbage patch, okay? Cosmic consciousness? My foot? Looks like more like a couch- cosmic couch potato to me. 
What did you say, child? The music of the universe was filling my ears, so I didn't hear you. That's brilliant. I feel like I want to use that the next time someone says some stupid shit to me. I said, if I find the stuff for this experiment, will you show me how it works? Please, Ben, please? Well, after I've had my nap, perhaps. On second thought, I don't think I will feel like it. This water is too cold. It's ruining my relaxation. Hmm. If I get you some more hot water, will you help me then? Well, I... Hot water, eh? This tub is getting cold. Alright, sure, kid. I'll do whatever you say if you give me some hot water. Yeah. I know exactly what to do. First, we gotta steal some more of your shit, though. That looks like a rock you can take, doesn't it? Right there? It does? I mean, it isn't, but it looks, it looks like it. Alright. Let's go mess up Sally's day. I'm sorry, that sounds way more aggressive than I intended. I'm, I'm not gonna be mean to this little girl, I promise. Hi. We're gonna have a chat. It's gonna be a lovely chat, and I'm not gonna be mean to you. Miss Franklin, what do you think about your parents' strange behavior? Oh, uh, I, uh, I'm worried about them. So, of course, Papa has been so strange of late, and Mama is always gone. So, where do you suppose your mother goes, Sally? I wish I knew. I know her fiery nature, though, and I fear for her safety. She'd walk right up to General Pug and swat him if she thought it would help Papa. Aw. How long has your father been in this condition, Sally? Not long, lad. You wouldn't be calling me lad. Sorry, we're about the same age. Just a fortnight ago, he was in his workroom writing when I heard him cry out. I came to see him, he was lying on the floor. I lifted his head, calling out his name. To my relief, he opened his eyes. Then he said, Groovy star child. <sighs> he hasn't been the same since. That's traumatizing. What are you working on, Sally? Oh, it is nothing. Just a sampler. What's that? Tis a bit of cloth embroidered with a saying. This one says, Honor thy father and mother. <sighs> Believe me, I'm trying. Oh, you precious bean! Forgive me, my friend, but I must finish my sewing and get on with my other chores. Can I take this? Ding! Mm. <laughs> Your mother gave me strict instructions not to light the fire. I'm not to give father any hot water, you see. Mother said, the only reason I should light the fire was in case of an emergency. Thank you for your kind offer, anyhow. Aww. Yoink! You would be forgiven for missing this. Uh, 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 That's hilarious, because I didn't even look at that. I knew what it was, so I didn't look at it. I'm very sorry. It's it's a recipe. But so she looks at the one recipe, and she's like, hmm, a lone recipe. She looks at the stack of recipes, and she's like, nah, I can't, I can't boil the water even without burning it, which is ridiculous. But the one by itself, like a fucking lost sheep, is totally okay. The f get out of here. Borrow. <laughs> Alright, cool. Whatever. Can I go in this room? <gasps> okay. Now, I think... I remember something neat. I'm like 90% sure there's something neat you can do with the tomato. I might be wrong. Let's find out. I can't get back through the turnstile without a shilling anyway, so like, let's just go check it out. Super curious if it'll do it. Look okay. at all that shit! I want all of it. Especially that. What's that? It looks like a little, like, clock. That bag's important. That hammer's important. Look at all these assets that they created for other shit. Hey, bro! Yeah.
Oh. wrong then that's hilarious keep talking this is amazing i got points for this Second, I need a second. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need a second. I need a second to compose myself. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> 